Hi, I'm Peoria Mayor Kathy Carlett. Thanks for joining me for another edition of Peoria Pulse. Peoria is home to families who enjoy an exceptional quality of life. Kids play safely in their neighborhoods and parks and trails are bustling every weekend. But Monday through Friday, the majority of Peoria's working population get in their cars and drive outside the city for work. The conversion from bedroom community to employment hub is a relatively new way of thinking about suburbs, and current ideals compel us to look for ways to spend more time close to home, bringing about the creation of mixed-use centers where residents can live and work and play. This conversion doesn't come without effort, though, which is exactly why we have experts to help us along the way. Today, I'm joined by Peoria's Economic Development Services Director, Mr. Scott White. Scott, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So why don't we start off a little bit about you. Let's talk about your background. Oh, great. Well, before joining the uh, Peoria team here in, in the city of Peoria, I worked extensively in Southern California. Mm -hmm. um, in Southern California, I worked for the Los Angeles County Community Development Commission and redevelopment uh, activities, economic development activities uh, in the unincorporated areas of the county. Um, I also worked as the redevelopment director in the city of Corona's redevelopment agency. Uh, and then also I worked in the private sector. Because um, I believe that to truly understand economic development, real estate development, you have to also work on the private side as well. So that was a nice mix of public-private experience before I came to the city of Peoria. Yeah, it is really well-rounded, and we're so thankful to have you and all of your experience here. Well, so now that you are here in Peoria and have been for quite a while and you've gotten a feel for all of the needs that we have, tell me, where did you start? Well, the first place to start is to really understand what can the city of Peoria achieve through an economic development implementation strategy? Um, because what we want to attract are the high quality jobs mm -hmm. and the high quality businesses, mm -hmm. we have to have a thoughtful uh, strategy uh, to know how to go about that. What are the incremental steps that we have to take to be successful? Uh, so that's really where we started, was an identification through the strategy of what's the path forward. Okay, well that's the perfect place to start, a real plan, right? So tell me, Tell me about your plan and tell me how you've implemented it so far. Great. So the first economic development implementation strategy was adopted by the council in December of 2010. So in that uh, document, what we wanted to accomplish was setting the, the stage for the future growth of the city. So we identified investment zones, areas of the city that it makes sense for us to invest towards economic development and business attraction, such as the entertainment district, now known as P83 such as Loop 303 as our future employment corridor, as anchored by the Vistancia Commercial Corps, and certainly in our old town. Mm -hmm. We want to bring redevelopment opportunities into the old town area and revitalization as well. Okay, so what you did is you took, you took the strategy and you divided it into those three very specific zones, and then you took the council goals of, of wanting to get high quality employment in the city of Peoria and you merged all of those things together. So tell me how you accomplished those goals. That's, that's a huge plan. Well, the goals is, is, is really, how we accomplish it is by coming up with a market-based approach mm. to what the value a private investor or developer will want to implement. Okay. Because as we, the city, our job is to create the environment for private investment, mm -hmm. to create an environment that is one that wants to bring capital into the city. A developer wants to develop. So we do that by making the development process easier. We do that by acquiring land and making land available for development. Okay. And we do that by uh, aligning ourselves with developers that can deliver the type of product mm -hmm. that the market wants. So our approach is very much centered on the private sector, the private market, and how can we bring value to the private market so that they want to come here. <sighs> That's perfect. That's absolutely, I think, what our citizens want from their government. They want their government to make it, um, to make the area primed for private, the private marketplace. That's, then everybody wins, right? Exactly. And so, so tell me about your Peoria Investment Forum, because I know last year was a big success. So tell me about last year first. Well, last year was a great success. Yeah. You know, it was our first ever uh, citywide investment forum. Mm -hmm. uh, we reached out to a whole host of audiences, you know, developers, uh, construction companies, brokers, nationally and internationally. Yeah. And we had 81 
uh, attendees. Uh, we had uh, foreign attendees uh, in all the right industry sectors. Wow. Uh, it was a great opportunity for us to showcase the sites and buildings that we have available for investment, as well as to start the conversation of Peoria is not any other suburb. We're not any other bedroom community. We're a community on the rise. We understand how to do public-private partnerships. Mm -hmm. We've done public-private partnerships, and we're ready to move forward aggressively and wow. innovatively. And it was extremely well received. Uh, through the uh, Peoria Investment Forum from last year, uh, we now have two agreements with plaza companies to construct a Class A office anchored mixed use development in our own P83 district, as well as a new corporate uh, office center uh, on Peoria and 101. So we are excited about the momentum that we created in 2016 mm -hmm. um, and now look forward to our new one in March of 2017. That is so exciting. I mean, those are real tangible results that our citizens are not only going to be able to see flourish, but they're going to be able to enjoy them. They can work there. They can they can enjoy the restaurants. I mean, it's really going to change that whole area and bring it to life just like we envisioned. And I love that you also said that you you made sure that our investors understood that we are not just any suburb. No. You kept the, in, the uniqueness of Peoria and the individual character of who we are as a city. I love that. So tell me, did you incorporate that into the, the um, 2017 uh, Peoria Investment Forum? Absolutely, because now our audience expects the high quality that we <laughs> delivered in 2016. <laughs> and so, uh, absolutely. Uh, what we have are unique and incredible opportunities in this moment in time, yes. to take advantage of the market, our sites, our workforce, mm -hmm. and all of the quality lifestyle attributes that we in Peoria have and create a new opportunity for the West Valley. Right now, a lot of that opportunity is going to the East Valley. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the numbers, when you look at the data and the opportunity, we are the West Valley alternative to the East Valley. Okay, so you brought up workforce. Let's talk about that because I, I just have to let everybody know right here and right now that you were the one who brought up the workforce that um, the Maricopa Association of Governments jumped on and said, we have to find that data. We are gonna get that data for everybody in the West Valley and show everyone where the workforce originates and um, where people can go to find those people at home, that workforce at home, because people might not understand that the workforce was measured at their place of business. Yes. So they are going to find all of the people in Peoria at a different, in a different city as they work every day. So we wanna know where they originate. And you were, in, you were um, the initial person who said, they're here in Peoria, let's change those numbers around. Absolutely. So, so this is a really very important initiative uh, because when you look at the advanced industries we want to attract, um, they are very well sought out nationally in mm -hmm. industries and their number one site selection objective is workforce, yeah. talent. They have to have access to qualified, skilled, available talent. Yeah. And so understanding, well, what talent do we have? Um, and understanding for that talent that we don't have but we need to be attractive, uh, what do we need to do from a workforce development perspective? Sure. So it's both pieces of that coming together in a concentrated workforce development implementation strategy that is so important. It's important to Peoria, it's important to the West Valley mm -hmm. uh, because you bring up an incredibly important point is that a lot of data captured in terms of available workforce is at the place of employment. Mm -hmm. Well, we all know living in the West Valley that 80% plus of the West Valley workforce out commutes for work. Mm -hmm. We want to capture those workers to be able to live and work in the West Valley. Mm -hmm. So this is a very important initiative that, that we're happy to be a part of. So that data then is gonna be able to be um, transmitted to site selectors who will then see Peoria in a whole new light. Whole new oh, light. Oh, that's where the workforce is. That's where light. I can develop my headquarters or my regional uh, buildings and, and start, start quality jobs where the workforce lives. Absolutely, and then yeah. when you look at the new Class A office development that we're moving forward on, mm -hmm. we're gonna be able to offer that space at a deep discount just because of cost effectiveness than what other companies will have to pay in the East Valley. So if you look at Class A office property in the East Valley at $35 a square foot, and we can deliver it for $30 a square foot, that's a bottom line cost savings to those companies. Wow. That's real. very important. Yeah, that is real cost effectiveness. Yes. 
Yes, wow. So we've got the workforce, and then we have a, a competitive value on the office space, and we have an exceptional quality of life. What's not to love about the city of Peoria, right? Exactly, <laughs> and that's our moment in time. And that is our moment in time, and that is now. Exactly. And that is now. Well, I am really, really pleased, and I'm sure the citizens of Peoria are really pleased that we have you at this moment in time to drive this economic development plan and strategy in such, a, in such an organized fashion, um, knowing what we need and knowing how to attract it. So well, thank very you very pleased. much, but I couldn't do it without the support and the energy of the mayor and the city council. Yeah, thank you for saying that. And it's been really nice having you here today. Thank you. A successful long-term economic development strategy requires focus and patience. And while development in Phoenix and East Valley cities began 15 to 20 years before much of the West Valley, we are ever mindful of the strength of our educated workforce as we drive the plans that will give them the choice to pursue a career close to home. Peoria continues to foster emerging opportunities and looking at the well-being of our city, I believe we're on the right track. Over the next several months, I'll be sharing more information about what the City of Peoria does and how we work every single day to bring value to residents through a program called CitySense. I hope you'll tune in again to hear more about the City of Peoria and meet some of the people helping to make our community an even better place to live. You can find all the episodes online or every weekday at 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. here on Channel 11. Thank you for joining me today for a City Sense edition of Peoria Pulse.